Hello everyone and welcome to me making a white whistle from Made in the Abyss, one of my favorite animes and mangas. And it's being turned into a video game so it's like it's a perfect time to make myself a white whistle so I can get ready for the game that's coming out. And I'm thinking it's looking pretty awesome so far with all the stuff they're adding into it. Looks like an awesome game that they're going to be making. And the white whistles are probably the top of all of them and you can only use the white whistle that you have. So nobody else can use your white whistle. It is customized to yourself. So I'm going to customize my own. Because it is the best part of the game. And the show itself. Well, you just have to start out with a chunk of polymer clay. I'm using some uh, Sculpey. Which is uh, probably the easiest one that I've used to make anything with. It's usually the better one. Just have to get a little small chunk of it. Cut myself a little piece to make myself uh, my, whist my whistle. And after I get that, get a little chunk, get chunk ripped off, smashed up, and rolled into a ball. Got to roll it out and make a nice firm flat. And get it rolled up into a ball. Then just smash it up into a little, kind of a little ball shape. And then you take it and you get it into a nice bowl. Make a little bowl for yourself so that you can have the whistle so it actually makes some noise. Don't want a whistle that doesn't make any sort of noise at all. <laughs> you accuse, that's usually how it starts out is to not having anything, just like a weird air noise for no reason. And then you gotta make your flat bottom piece, just round it out and get it ready for the bottom. And uh, make it a little bit bigger so that you can actually attach it. Is usually the best way to get your whistle nice and smoothed out. Just roll up a little ball and smash it out and roll it out for yourself. Make sure it's a little bit bigger than the bottom of the actual bowl that you made. Because this is what's going to make your uh, kind of a sound area, where a place for it to bellow around in. Just attach it on, start smoothing down the sides. Get it nice and smooth, pinch it good, and then just roll it down. Give it a good wave to it. My fingernails look terrible on this video. <laughs> Don't mind that. And just smash it down with your uh, some clay tools. I just got some clay uh, wooden tools, just random ones off Amazon. Doesn't really matter what you have. To tell the truth, you could probably use a popsicle stick and do all of this if you really needed to. Doesn't really take much to get through. Just smooth it out real good, and then make yourself a nice front piece. Try to get a nice square sh shape to it. Get it ready to be uh, smoothed on to the whistle itself. Try to smash it out into like a cube. So that way you can have a nice mouthpiece for yourself. An area for you to kind of breathe through. And just smooth that piece on next. Get it ready to go for the whistle. In the end it's going to look like a weird turtle or an igloo. Don't make your whistle into a turtle or an igloo. It's <laughs> kind of ruins it. My white whistle is a, an igloo because it was the easiest thing I could make. Well, yeah, because it's, that's the exact shape of what you're making right now. So, I guess if you really wanted an igloo white whistle, I guess you'd be the only one. Uh, or one of many, probably. Because <laughs> that's not very custom. Now i got to make the hole for the whistle. Shove a piece in. Normally you want to use two popsicle sticks or two pieces of wood tools. Shove one in that's pretty flattened. And then... Get it in there real good. Make sure that the hole is actually opened. And then cut your piece out right above it where your mouthpiece is. Make a nice little square area. And you want to make sure it's small enough that it's actually going to still let the sound go through. And then just kind of smash it down to give it a nice bezel for a place for the sound to escape. That way the noise can come through. Just give it a good smoothing. And smash it down good amount of movement on it and smooth it out make sure you don't have a bunch of weird spots you want to make sure that there's actually an air hole and then just there you go my little turtle <laughs> getting started there this will be my base for my whistle get it baked 275 in the oven for about 15 minutes usually does it then I made a bunch of little pieces that I'm going to be putting on my whistle to make it into more of a squid shape because that's the design I decided I wanted to go with. It's kind of a wicked weird skull squid with some creepy teeth and make it very scary. Just smooth on my little tentacles now, making it nice and smooth and adding them on and 
put them in places that I don't think they would go. So it looks like they're kind of moving around. So I put them in different shapes. I don't want them too close to each other because then it doesn't look as movable. Because I want my whistle to be alive and creepy. Just like the one guy with the skull hands. His skull whistle is... A skeleton hand whistle is kind of creepy to me. And I liked it, so I was like, I'm going to make a skeleton squid. <laughs> now I'm just making the eyeball. It's kind of making a little circle area. Put my eye. Just stick it right to the front there. And then get it nice and smoothed in. Make sure it actually stays. It likes to roll off every once in a while, especially when you have a round object on a round object. It's going to roll away. That's how it does. And then we're going to put our uh, holders, our little eyelids, and just smooth them down. Make sure they're nice and... Uh, attached to this even though the other clay is dry this new clay that is wet will stick after you bake it for sure it is sticking right now and then it'll uh, stay still and kind of fuse together that's the reason I only did 15 minutes because it still has some more baking time it can do and now I'm going to add on my teeth and get those added in where I want them three little creepy teeth at the bottom but I can just give it a nice pointy teeth that way it can uh, Bite my face as I try to blow into it. Give a give a nice bloodshed. <laughs> That's one thing about the vistas. It's a uh, creepy but uh, home nice uh, fun anime. Makes you feel like there's something bigger out there. And just smoothing in the teeth and getting them attached to everything. Now I'm adding in the holes to the sides of the tentacles to give it kind of more of depth. Make it look more like a tentacle because it has the little suckers on it. Use a little ball pin tool. Just kind of give it those little parts on there. Now that I got that done, go give it another bake. 15 minutes, 275. After that, it'll be nice and baked up. You gotta wait for it to cool off. About oh, 15 minutes after it's cooled, you can start giving it a nice paint. I want to start with a nice white. Give it a full white coat. Fill this entire thing. Get a little water on your brush. And add a nice wet brush of coat. Nice white coat all over the... Your, your, uh, whatever wish you're going to make. Mine was a squid, so I'm adding all the white coat to my squid. That way we can have a nice white whistle. Nice fill it up. Make sure to get all your divots and areas that you need to have filled. Because you don't want to have to go back after you've already done all the painting. Especially after you add the black, you can't really add... The, the white will go over it, but it gives it a kind of a weird sheen. <clears throat> gives it a metal gray after that. And after we get a nice white coat on there, and when it's all dried up, it's time to add in the black. I want with a nice... Uh, Oh, uh, creepy idea. I wanted to go with a nice black eye. So I'm going to add in a little bit of uh, hard color to it. Now that we got the nice black eye on there, I add in a little bit more color. See that? Very, very creepy so far. Give it a good scary white whistle. Because that's what the most of them look like. They're pretty creepy looking. We got the bowl and the skeleton hands, and I got the weird squid. <laughs> Squid skull. And I think the newest white whistle was the heart that the main character got in the movie. It's pretty good. I'm going to add a little more uh, black to it. Just give it a little more feeling. Just kind of give it a weird shaded areas. Is that where I want those? And I left it a little bit wet because I wanted to give it kind of a grayish outer parts. A little bit of a gray to it. Because if you add it in while it's still wet, you get a nice metal gray color to it. It'll be dark at first, but just keep blending it in and it'll gray out. Something just to give it a little more of a different shade. With the white whistles, most of them are all either black with a, like a gray and then a white. So that's why I kind of why I wanted to keep mine as well. Just kind of a weird gray spots all over it. Give a weird shade. Kind of make it a little bit creepier that way too. All black and white. Gives it that old feeling. After I get it nice and painted up. It's time to just kind of let it dry. 
after I get everything painted on. I added a little bit more shading to it as well. Got to make sure it's uh, shaded all the places that you want it to be. Let it dry and then let it shade a little more and then let it dry and let it shade a little more. And then get a little more on that uh, areas where you think that it might be a little darker. So under the teeth, it's going to be darker under there. Into this weird mouth area where it's going to be probably biting me while I try to take a blow on it. So I can go into the abyss a little bit farther because you need the white whistle to get down to the sixth layer. So make sure you have your white whistle ready. Add in a little more white to the teeth because I got a little bit too much gray on there. Oh yeah. And just kind of smooth it out real good and then <clears throat> this whole project probably took me about oh hour and a half to do. Would have taken a little longer. I could have probably made a little more fancy one, but I wanted more of a Kind of what the other white whistles are, is just kind of like these creepy things that are made. And uh, if you want to see how they're made, there it's in the movie that they made for it. And it gave it that weird, creepy look. And they were not made in the most humane of ways. And here's their finished product. My white whistle. My squid white whistle. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And have a good one out there.